Kremit here with Farm Progress Companies. My wife and I have had this uh, John Deere 1026R on loan for the last couple of months to do some things around the acreage. It came with H20 heavy duty lift on the front, which was very good for some of our uh, moving of leaf uh, of uh, wood chips and uh, putting them around grapevines, that sort of thing for mulch in the, in the uh, flower beds and so forth. This is a uh, three cylinder, 25 horse tractor, uh, Yanmar diesel engine, rated at uh, 25 horse in the engine and 18 at the PTO. Has a two speed hydrostat transmission, pedal control, and it does have a three point hitch on the back. Let's look at some of the features of this thing. Of course, the heart of any tractor is under the hood, and as we talked about a minute ago, this one has a 25 horsepower, three-cylinder Yanmar, well appointed with the air cleaner, radiator, and uh, oil cooler, transmission cooler, all right here. Oil filters on this side, spin-on oil filter, easily obtainable. Lift stick is over, or the dipstick is over here. 12 volt batteries in the front, easily uh, accessible and also ballast for when you're uh, lifting or pulling. One piece fiberglass hood and a latch for pretty much one hand use. Beyond that, let's look at the front. Uh, John Deere designed loader to fit with this tractor and the 1023, the little sister. This one is extremely handy around the house. As I said, we used it to move uh, wood chips and uh, hay bales and things like that uh, for our mulching purposes. Let's go back in the back and I'll show you the three-point hitch. Well, this is typical of many farm tractors and it goes way, way back, but uh, for a small compact utility tractor, this is a very stout unit. Uh, lifts 1400 pounds out here at the ends uh right behind here it's rated at 600 pounds so it's a it's a stout unit for if you want to drill with an auger if you want to lift implements so forth and so on it's right here easily controlled with a single uh, joystick up here uh, notice the pto a lot of clearance heavy duty um, frame that you can put a hitch on to pull things uh, overall, well-appointed tractor, complete with turn signals. Um, let's go around and I'll show you some of the things on the hydraulics that are a little bit confusing, but, uh, but they work if you know what you're doing. As I said, the uh, coupling manifold for all of the hydraulics is located right here by the forward and reverse pedals, and they're color-coded for up, down, sideways, sideways, and you notice this has a deck on it. Uh, it's a little confusing because to run the uh, front end loader, you have one set of hydraulics going the way it's supposed to, and then you have this one for the uh, mower deck. And uh, you have to really be careful to know that uh, the mower deck goes here, otherwise you wind up with lots of problems of either the mower deck doesn't go up and down or this goes up and down. It's my opinion that uh, this could have been fixed with uh, a bigger manifold and a switch up here for the single joystick so that you could do this without getting off and plugging in hydraulic uh, uh, hoses. But that's the way it is right now and I think uh, Deere probably is working on a fix for that as we uh, as we speak right now. <clears throat> Another thing I mentioned about the mower, this thing is quite maneuverable. It will turn an 88 inch circle and I can tell you that it almost will turn in its own length. It's extremely maneuverable, very good tractor. Let's, uh, let's look at the uh, control panel and uh, that'll kind of end up our, uh, our walk around. The instrument panel and uh, control cluster for this tractor is extremely intuitive. Get on it, you look, you can just about see what, uh, what needs to be done. It was designed for property owners and people that really haven't driven uh, farm tractors and such. The panel up here is analog and digital combination. You got engine heat, uh, safety lights, and that sort of thing for low oil, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, tachometer, engine's rated at 3200 RPM. Throttle, you can control it there. Over here are blinker light indicators and switches. 
as well as a, a main set of lights, which includes the tail lights, mid-mounted work lights, and extremely good, bright, well-designed lights on the front to work the work area to light the work area. It also has a single joystick for uh, hydraulic controls. As I said, uh, that's controlled through the coupling manifold down here. On the back, there's a uh, built-on toolbox to keep things dry and uh, out of the weather, so forth and so on. Here is the uh, high, low, and neutral uh, two-range hydrostatic transmission uh, control and a mower depth control. All in all, a compact tractor, uh, very handy and would make uh, extremely good uh, companion on most any acreage. And now I've got to get this thing back to John Deere.